Today is Saturday of the fifth week of Lent. O Lord, do not stay afar off my strength. Make haste to help me, for I am a worm and no man, scorned by everyone, despised by the people. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. We take a moment, and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you have made all those reborn in Christ, a chosen race, and a royal priesthood. Grant us, we pray, the grace to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them, and there shall be one shepherd for them all, and they shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever, they and their children and their children's children with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nation shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord Lord will guard us as a shepherd shepherd guards guards his flock. flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob, and he shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord Lord will guard us as a shepherd shepherd guards his his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will, will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. When the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin, they said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him. And the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim. There he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The raising of Lazarus.
created quite a stir, caused a sensation of the many people who had come to console Martha and Mary. and They put their faith in Jesus. But others told the authorities, and then they decided that this was the last straw. They feared that the whole world would believe in him. So the scene is set for the passion narrative in John's gospel. A motive has been supplied and there's no time to lose in implementing their plan. Word of the trouble travels fast, and the crowds began to assemble for the feast. There was the buzz, there was the curiosity. Will he show up in Jerusalem for the Passover? Will he show up? Well, if you read the book, you know the answer to that question. Now, the only question is, will we show up during Holy Week? Let us pray. That the church may be a sign of God's presence on earth, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the elect may be welcomed with joy into the Christian assembly, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the world's leaders may shepherd their people into a new covenant of peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may carefully observe God's commands of justice, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor may receive the blessings of God's chosen ones, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may lead the sick, including Jennifer Bantel, Fabiola Barcelo, Harrison Dwelly, and Irene Bauer. That may lead the sick to healing pasture and refreshing water, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may sanctify us in this holy season, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may gather the dead into the eternal sheepfold, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and our own personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins. May they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment and the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Christ was handed over to gather into one the scattered children of God. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Live the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.